One time I was training and it was like the second time I'd met Josh ever. And he was sitting doing, you know, like weight training. And I was like, oh, okay, I'm gonna do this epic dive roll and be super impressive. And I go in to do the dive roll and I actually gave myself a black eye because <laughs> no. my knee <laughs> whacked myself and that. That wasn't good. What's up guys, Nikki Novak here in the Young Hollywood studio with the star of The Hunger Games, Jacqueline Emerson. Hi. <laughs> Great to have you here. Thanks for having me, I'm very excited. So good to see you. So you play Foxface. Yes. She's very sly, isn't she? She's very sly. And I heard you described her as a genius. She is a genius, yes. And I was gonna ask you, in real life, who is the biggest genius that you know? Oh, in real life? Whether, well, let's say a genius or like actress. An acting okay. Or a singing genius, because I, I know you're a singer too. Meryl Streep is an acting genius. Yes, she I have is. To say. I'm a huge Meryl Streep fan. A music genius, I think Adele just has such a soulful voice. Um, I don't know if that's so much genius, it is, it is talent, I'm just born that way, but she's yeah. so amazing, so I always love listening to her sing. Speaking of singers, yes. you have a, a new video, Catch Me If You Can? I do, Catch Me If You Can just came out a couple weeks ago. And you've been singing since you were like six years old. Yeah, I, I was in my first musical when I was six and that was when I fell in love with both acting and singing. And then I released my first music video a couple months ago called Peter Pan, which you can also find on YouTube. And so I'm very excited because I get to kind of enter the industry with both acting and singing. I heard a lot about pranks on the set. Yes. And I heard you were a bit of a prankster I yourself. A bit of a prankster. Me and Amanda, Amanda and I, we were um, Jamandla. That was our, that was our <laughs> gang name. And we would prank, mainly our main targets were um, Alexander Ludwig and Jack Quaid. And we would go to their rooms and we would take all their clothes and hide it in the fridge or the microwave. <laughs> I heard something about Josh put like a tribute. Yes, he in put a giant dummy of this like deformed tribute into Jen's trailer and into her bathroom, and so that, that freaked her out. Amanda and I, we worked together the whole time. So I, I remember our first prank, we were in a hotel together, and we were talking, and we were like, wait a minute, why don't, why don't we call Xander and try to prank him? He was with Jack. And we pretended that we were like a crazy fan at the hotel, and <laughs> when he came home, we left him a little note in the, um, in the lobby, and they were freaking out, they were like, oh my god. Who is this? Like, where are they? Did were you they see all, anybody? Were they all getting full of themselves? Yeah, they, they, they actually thought that they were like, oh yeah, there's a fan, like crazy fan for us. Oh my God, what do we do? Wait, what? Like if they could send you in one meal, if you were starving you and eating for two days, what oh would it God. be? Oh, ooh, good question. Oh, <laughs> oh, she gets excited about food. I, I like do, this. I'm such a foodie. Okay. We should go eat together because we I We should, we would have a blast. <laughs> so this is gonna be totally weird and you all are gonna laugh at me and think I'm the weirdest person on earth, but I'm, I'm kind of obsessed with Brussels sprouts. <laughs> You've <laughs> disappointed me. Here I was waiting for the burger and fries I, and the no, milkshake. I mean, just, okay, like some really, really nicely grilled Brussels sprouts. <laughs> <laughs> with like some onions. Could we throw some there. chocolate sauce oh, on no, top no, no. of that? <laughs> dark chocolate on the side. Like really good dark chocolate. Interesting combination. Like 70% dark chocolate. And what was the best skill that you picked up? Oh, while you were shooting this? Probably how to do an awesome somersault because I've gotten really good at somersaulting, <laughs> which is exciting. Can you I, get airborne when you do it? Do you I can, and I can do like these epic dive rolls. Actually, one time I was training, and it was like the second time I'd met Josh ever. And he was sitting doing, you know, like weight training, and I was like, oh, okay, I'm gonna do this epic dive roll and be super impressive. And I go in to do the dive roll, and I actually gave myself a black eye because <laughs> no. my knee <laughs> whacked myself and that. That wasn't good, but it was very funny. I, I came to school the next day with like this giant black eye and I still wasn't allowed to tell people that I was cast. And so everyone was going, oh my God, what happened to you? And I, I fell and my knee hit my, I, I don't, 
Uh, so I heard you were a huge fan of the movie before you actually I got was the role, and you huge. met Gary Ross not even for an audition, just to sort of talk to him about the movie. Yeah, I was doing. He was interviewing kids that were fans of the books to kind of get their take on it, and then a couple weeks later, he called me and he asked if I would come in and if you would die audition red. for Box Face. <laughs> yes, basically. <laughs> and I flipped out because she'd been one of my favorite characters. And then Steven Soderbergh, which I don't know if a lot of people know this. I'm sure most fans know this. Did second camera? He did. did second he did unit second on unit. This. Um, I didn't actually film with him, unfortunately. But I did go to set when he was filming because I, I was like, I can't miss this opportunity. It's Steven Soderbergh. Oh no, you have to. I had to be there. All right, well, we have a little game for you. Okay, fun. I like games. The theme is Fox. Okay, cool. Are you ready? Yes. Foxface hails from District 5, which is known for generating A, coal, B, agriculture, C, textiles and clothing, or D, power and electricity. Power and electricity! Ding, 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 ding! ding. Yay! We knew she was gonna get it. <laughs> a female fox is scientifically referred to as A, a vixen, B, a hottie, C, foxy, or D, babe. A female I didn't fox know as in like an actual fox? An actual fox. I'm gonna go with vixen. Yes! <gasps> it is now time for Name That Fox. Oh. Are you ready? Okay, let's let's do this. Number Jane one. Fox. <laughs> yes! I'm getting this. Oh my god. I'm blanking. Lost. Uh -huh. Um he looks like a Michael. <laughs> it starts with an M. It does? It does. Mitchell. Did you say Matthew? Michelle. Matthew. I think you said Matthew. Oh. Woo! I love I'm so good at this. What can I say? And Megan Fox. And Woo! she got it. And okay. last but not least, back to the future. Back. Oh, oh, oh. oh. Ah. It's <clears throat> You said my cute Michael before. Yeah, yeah, so you that's met, what it was. You had a premonition. Oh, Michael J. Oh, Fox, oh, and she did it. We know that Foxface is very sly and elusive in The Hunger Games, but if she were to align herself with a team, who would it be? Team Peta, Team Gale, Team Jacob, or Team Edward? Oh, but that's not a fair question, because <laughs> Jacob and Edward are, like, they're not actual people. They're like, True. one of them is a werewolf, one of them is a vampire. They can do crazy, awesome, like, skills and stuff. I mean. As much as I love Peta and Gail, they're both real people, and so they would stand no chance whatsoever they're against out. a vampire. <laughs> when in doubt, I swear, go I mean, team this Edward. This isn't even an Edward thing. You can't this isn't lose. even an Edward thing. You gotta trust me. <laughs> it is just about the power. Oh, it is for me. It might not be for you, but it is for me. And this is what you get. Ha! <gasps> huh? A red, of course. Young Hollywood hat. Oh, no, I'm all. I'm all matching. You're, awesome. You're all foxy, aren't you? Oh, wait, wait, what was the right word? It wasn't foxy, it was... Vixen? Oh you are God. a vixen. I'm a vixen. Hey. It was so great chatting with you. <laughs> it was so nice You're chatting awesome. with you, too. You color, you're so color I know, coordinated. I it. She's I'm all like, surrounded by the red pillows and I everything. I feel so... Uh, mm -hmm. Feel free to hang out. I feel, I feel part of the couch. <laughs> you are. <laughs>